Hello, Jim Feist in Las Vegas. Here's a report on what we're coming with the NFL this week and a little overview where we are after seven weeks of football in the NFL. There are a few good teams, and there's a few not-so-good teams, and we have some teams that are marginal, can play good, can play not, but we all, obviously, Buffalo, Kansas City, Cincinnati, Dallas, and maybe the top team right now may be Philadelphia. It might be the year of Philadelphia if they win game one of the World Series, coming back from a 5 nothing defeat or loss, or, and uh, come back and win that game, 6-5 to five in extra. So it's a pretty exciting game. And as far as the NFL is concerned, there might be some teams that shape up during the year. And, of course, some of these top teams could suffer some injuries and things can happen. So don't get over your shoes too far with, uh, with, with what's going on out there because a lot can happen between now and then. There's only seven weeks played. This is week eight. And, um, you know, Denver, you got Russell Wilson. You got Green Bay. You got Aaron Rodgers. You got Tampa Bay. You got Tom Brady. You know, these older quarterbacks, um, they got the money in the pocket and they look like they're fading a little bit or a lot, depending on how you look at it. But like I said, things can change. Tampa Bay, for example, uh, they get on the same page. I don't know about the coaching, the timing, the chemistry between the players, It's a, but they are in a division that's absolutely terrible and they could end up winning that division, get into the playoffs, and you put Tom Brady in the playoffs, you know what he's done before, you never know. Lightning can strike again. But uh, this is a very interesting uh, year. Points uh, per game are down seven points a game in the NFL, which is absolutely amazing, and I attribute that to some very poor coaching and some very poor quarterback play from most of the clubs. So we're dealing with an issue, a change in the guard of the NFL. So a lot of things from the past are not going to work if we look at history. And we have to look at the performance being a little bit slipshod and inconsistent. So manage your money. Don't get over your heels. And uh, let's have some winners this weekend. Good luck.